Okay, thank you very much, Mike Carlucci. Welcome, everybody. Wally George is here, your fearless leader. And we're here every night, Monday through Friday at 11.30, Saturday night, our late, late, late hot seat show. And I do mean late, late, late. Going into our 21st year here at my home base, KDOC-TV, in the booth, my fine director, editor, Jeff Bingham, been with me for decades now. Uh, Dick Werner is in engineering. Uh, and, of course, Jerry Bingham is uh, on the floor as our floor manager, uh, taking care of everything there. And I am here thrilling you with my brilliance. <laughs> so uh, stay with us every night. Tell your friends. You know, there was an interesting article written uh, uh, by uh, Doug Gamble. He's a former presidential writer. And uh, he, he was talking about uh, celebrities are taking themselves very, very seriously and uh, they think they know how to run the country better than the president. And he mentions Barbara Streisand, for example, and uh, he says, she thinks she, know, she knows better how to run the country than George W. Bush. Ditto for Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen, who's been arrested dozens of times for his peace marches. This guy. And on television, Martin Sheen plays the President of the United States. What miscasting. And by the way, uh, Martin Sheen's program, The West Wing, the ratings have bottomed out. He has lost about half of his following, especially from these peace marches and peace demonstrations that he has instigated and participated in, his condemnation of our president, of our country, of our possible war against Iraq, the madman Saddam Hussein. He has been criticizing the president and the country for a long time now, and I think he's paying the price because the ratings for his television show, West Wings, has, have dropped dramatically. Dramatically. He used to be in the top 10. Now he's about number 42 in the ratings. And don't tell me that his actions and his comments about the president and this country have not contributed to his drop in the ratings. And then uh, he, he talks about Susan Sarandon, Mike Farrell, Jessica Lange, and a whole host of Hollywood liberals who see themselves as the official opposition, if not a fourth branch of the government. So says columnist Doug Gamble. With the prospect of war against Iraq, a showdown with North Korea, and continuing and often controversial efforts against terrorism, 2003 looks to be a year when the Hollywood left seeks to exert its influence on public policy as never before. Add to the mix an apparent dislike of President George Bush, or I would say hatred of President George Bush, and you have the ingredients for a, a boil over of the rhetoric aimed at the White House from Tinseltown. And so these stars that, that uh, Doug Gamble listed, well, that's only a small, I mean, there's a huge list of, of uh, Hollywood superstars who have earned millions of dollars, by the way, from this country, who, who have attacked the United States government, who have attacked the President of the United States. And, uh, uh, you know, you say, well, so what, Wally? They're only movie stars. They can't have 
that they can't do any harm. No. You'd be surprised. There are fans who pay attention to what these superstars say. And they can influence people in this country. They can. They can do a lot of harm. They are, are doing a lot of harm. And I resent it. I resent it more than I can tell you. Do I have time for anything else? Couple minutes, Tom. Okay. Well, well, the uh, uh, the guards in in the jails in New York are questioning a ban on smoking in New York jails. They say the policy could escalate problems in an already intense environment. Now, what has happened in New York, evidently the governor uh, and, and the mayor of New York City and so forth ha have come up with a ban on smoking in New York jails. And they say, you know, uh, uh, heaven forbid that these hardened criminals would get lung cancer. Or, or other inmates uh, uh, could, could get uh, uh, ill from secondhand smoke. I say that uh, these prisoners, if they want to kill themselves by smoking, let them do it. I'll send them a carton. Especially, they should give out cartons and cartons of, of cigarettes to those on death row to those who have killed others. Yeah, that's where they should really, really give out free cigarettes by the thousands. Maybe they will kill themselves like they killed other people. I don't give a darn if, if these hardened criminals smoke when they're in jail. I couldn't care less. Let them do it. They've hurt others, and if they want to hurt themselves, that should be their privilege. What do you think? We'll take a little break and I'll be right back with highlights from Hot Seat. Coming up next after these messages. Stay right there. Thank you.